Hi everyone, my name is Morgan Snyder and me and my partner Jose Delgado will be talking to you today about uptake hydrogenase in cyanobacteria. So for a quick background, uh, cyanobacteria are photosynthetic prokaryotes that date back to 3.5 billion years ago. And they are easy to use in the lab because they require low amounts of nutrients to survive. So we will be focusing on the fact that cyanobacteria produce hydrogen. So hydrogen is important because it can be used as an alternative fuel as opposed to fossil fuels. So the enzyme uptake hydrogenase in cyanobacteria oxidizes hydrogen, thereby reducing the overall hydrogen yield. So our goal is to inactivate uptake hydrogenase so that the hydrogen yield can be increased. The goal of our research is to genetically engineer cyanobacteria so that they produce more hydrogen. We do this by inactivating the uptake hydrogenase enzyme. To do this, we perform deletion or mutation. For the in silico analysis, we obtain the Hub SL sequence of Anabina variabilis from PubMed's gene bank. In order to clone this DNA fragment, we analyze the sequence for the purpose of finding suitable primers for the polymerase chain reaction. The next step of our process was identifying suitable restriction enzymes for the purpose of deletion of a part of the Hub SL operon thereby creating a deletion construct that would enable us to remove the parts of the two genes from the cyanobacterial genome. As we see on the figure, Bay one is a suitable restriction enzyme that cuts both genes. Bay one cuts at sites in the plasmid of E. coli to produce a mutated plasmid. This deletion construct is then used to transform cyanobacteria. Thank you very much.